Kirsten Cinema has been out of the news of late, but don't let that convince you that she hasn't been doing her Kirsten Cinema thing. Because we find out that she's been busy in the past couple of years, even if a little bit more quiet, uh, taking private jet trips, which cost a pretty penny. But not a pretty her penny, a pretty your penny, because she's been spending a lot of money on it and it comes out of campaign cash. More than $100,000 on jets, limos, luxury hotels, uh, and wine. So that's fun. She's used almost 210,000 of her office's dollars, the allotment that she has for a variety of different expenses for private jet travel in just the last three years. And it's getting worse, by the way. So you might think, oh, well, she won't necessarily be in office for much longer. Well, she seems to maybe get that too, because she has really been ramping up the expenses. In 2023, so just last year, it was $116,000 for private jet travel. So she is spending several times more than she was just a few years ago. To put it in perspective, they took a trip, her and some staffers, to the Grand Canyon to meet Biden. And it cost over $50,000. And I will remind you that almost all of these trips are in her state. This isn't you know, to the other side of the country or whatever. This is I don't want to drive or I don't want a two hour or one hour domestic flight. And it is costing hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now, this comes out of what they are sort of like allocated. So for her in 2023, her budget authorization was $4.1 million. So that covers a whole lot of stuff. The cost of the office, the cost of salaries, the weekly travel, because obviously senators need to go to DC to vote and all that, office supplies and everything. And the amount that she spent on private planes in 2023 alone is greater than the current annual salaries of all, but just a few of her most senior staffers. So in theory, if she had just taken commercial flights or had driven, again, inside of just that one state, then she could have had a whole other full, like well paid aide who could be working on a variety of issues. Because remember, the purpose of having a senator and their office is to deal with constituents, hear their concerns, craft legislation. You need talented aides to do that across a wide range of issues. Aides who are skilled and knowledgeable about the environment, about veterans affairs, about the economy, about health care. And instead of hiring another person like that, she spends it on uh, private flights. And I don't want you to think we're just being unfair to Kirsten Cinema. This is what they all do. Like, sure, our elected representatives spend way too much money on stuff like this. But um, the other, uh, but the other senator in her state hasn't spent literally any on private flights. Like, you can get by without doing anything like this. Um, now, there are some places where you do see more charter flights. Uh, by elected representatives, but it tends to be in large rural states where they don't have the network of airlines to easily get from one place to another without chartering their own flights. That is very much not the case in Arizona. This is 100% willful. She is just choosing to do it. It's nicer, it's more luxurious, and at the end of the day, it ain't her money. So I guess why shouldn't she uh, spend it? What do you think, Adrian? Oh, like you're 100% right. The fact that she is exploiting this money that she has, and she doesn't see this as something that she is supposed to be using these resources, using to advance her constituents' interests and truly serve their needs. No, she is going to use this to wine, dine, and to live the best life for as long as she can. This is disgusting, and it really shows you how so many people will get into politics and truly just exploit the hell out of it because they know they're gonna get their six-figure salary, and on top of that, they're going to be able to use their donor funds to live like they're a Kardashian. It's, mm-hmm. it's just it's gross. It should be illegal. Yeah, there there should be there should be more oversight of this, and and particularly like you could increase the level of scrutiny based on other activities that have already been unveiled. For Chris Cinema, for instance, we already knew from last year. The Daily Beast showed how she. You might know Kirsten Cinemas, she loves to race. She does triathlons, she does marathons, all that. So she would schedule fundraisers near the sites of her races so that she could have it be a campaign expense. She goes there, she has a brief dinner, she raises a little bit of money, but she only went there because the race is there. Totally acceptable, you could do that. Also, last year it was revealed that she paid hundreds of thousands of dollars in security expenses to one contractor who had no other clients and had a personal connection to the senator. 
which seems like the most obvious corruption possible. And I believe is actually in some way connected to Tulsi Gabbard as well, which is a weird sort of added layer of this. And yet it's all cool. You could just continue to do this and you just soak up that money that could theoretically go to constituent services and a variety of other things. Um, but we should not be surprised by this because she clearly is not worried about her future. Uh, Mitt Romney in his book has this uh, claim that she apparently, he claims she said this to him. I don't care about a reelection. I can go on any board I want to. I can be a college president. I can do anything. I saved the Senate filibuster by myself. I saved the Senate by myself. That's good enough for me. So she can get rewarded in any way she wants. After all, she allowed the Senate to still block anything from ever being done, and that's good enough for her. Well, that's not good enough for her. That plus a whole bunch of chartered jet flights, that's good enough for her. Any final thought? I just, I really want to know, well, no, I know what there's not more greater regulation when it comes to what members of Congress in any way use their funds for. But at the same time, I really want to know about her district and the fact that they're willing to elevate this person. It just, again, I just don't, so I, I blame the constituents. I don't blame the, the, the actual person. They're just exploiting the system because they're positioned to. That's if gross. I lived in Arizona, I would just be entire, I'd be angry 24 <laughs> seven. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Cast or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.